Hey folks, recently I've been looking to add displays to my DIY music projects and I just came across a real gem. This is the cheap yellow display. It is powered by the ESP32 and I think it may be a total game changer. When adding a display to your projects, a lot of times you have to work on getting everything plugged up just right, or you might have an enclosure that's difficult to get the perfect size for. So the obvious advantage to the CYD is it already comes with everything you need. The only thing I've added here is this acrylic case, which it could also be purchased with. But since it has a touch display and supports Bluetooth MIDI, we can have all these different modes to control MIDI in our DAW. Let's get started. Here on the blue mat is everything that came with the CYD. I got mine on AliExpress, but they're also available on Amazon for a bit more. I'll leave links to those along with the code in the description. The touchscreen is the same size as the Nintendo DS screen, and it even comes with a very similar looking stylus. In another video, I compared the ESP32 to the Raspberry Pi Pico to see which one worked better as a MIDI controller. At the time, I said the Pico was better because it uses MIDI over USB, which is more reliable than Bluetooth MIDI, which the ESP32 uses. Now, some newer ESP32 boards support MIDI over USB, but the chip on the CYD is not one of them. However, in most of my tests, the Bluetooth MIDI works really well with low latency, but occasionally the data gets stuck transferring from the device to my computer. I've decided this is likely because I have a Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad that are interfering, but really that's been the only downside I've found with this board. Now that we've assembled the case, we'll install the Arduino sketch to the device. This requires installing a few libraries, which I'll list in the readme of the CYD MIDI controller GitHub repo. Once the sketch is installed, we're ready to connect the CYD to our computer's Bluetooth, which is done through audio MIDI setup on Mac. Now we can use the device to pass MIDI data to any app that supports MIDI. Here I'm using Logic Pro for this example with a heart patch selected. For this first release of the CYD MIDI controller, here's a quick walkthrough of the 10 modes. First we have keys mode that has a variable scale keyboard layout with two rows. Next we have our beats mode, which is a simple drum sequencer. Now we'll get into some of the more wild ones. Zen is a Pong style bouncing MIDI controller inspired by Jem Olkay's Bounce Bud. Jim's a friend of the channel. If you're into AUV3 effects, then definitely check out his work. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Next we have Drop, a physics-based note generator. Up next we have RNG mode, that is a random note generator with various controls. Onto the second row, we have an XY pad with variable MIDI CC targets. Next, an arpeggiator example. Then, for the guitarist, we have this all force layout grid style keyboard. Next we have a chord mode. And our final mode is an LFO mode, which I think works wonderfully as a lo-fi pitch wobble effect.
And to finish up, here's a short track made entirely from MIDI generated by the CYD MIDI controller. And that's it. I'm really glad I get to present this project to you all. I think that there's a lot of potential here and having a display that's built into a microcontroller is just sort of some next level easy. But I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. What would be cool to add to this device next? And feed the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.